The woman accused of hiding evidence in the murders of a mother-to-be, Savannah Soto, and her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra, is now half a million dollars closer to being free. A judge this afternoon drastically reducing the bond of Mirta Romanos a month after she was charged in connection to this case. Dylan Collier in court for the 90-minute hearing. Shackled and dressed in a county-issued jail jumpsuit, Mirta Romanos made her first appearance this afternoon in state district court. The 47-year-old charged with three felonies, accused of helping her son Christopher Preciado and her husband Ramon Preciado move the bodies of a nine-month pregnant Savannah Soto and her boyfriend Matthew Guerra to a Leon Valley apartment complex just a few days before Christmas. Police have said the younger Preciado killed the couple during a drug deal gone wrong. Romanos's attorneys argued that her bonds totaling $1.1 million were extreme and being used by the district attorney's office to punish her and keep her in jail while awaiting indictment. They asked for her bonds to be reduced to $250,000. Objection. There's no evidence of any actions of hers. This is a bond hearing for her. I understand he wants to grandstand for them, that's great, but this is not the venue for that. Judge Miguel Nahara heard evidence from both sides before examining several exhibits behind closed doors, including a graphic photo taken at the crime scene. After returning to the bench, Judge Nahara agreed to reduce Romanos's bonds to $600,000 meaning she'll need to come up with around $60,000 in order to post bail. What remains to be seen is whether Romanos can even post the reduced bond amount. She testified on the stand this afternoon that she had trouble paying her mortgage even before her legal troubles. Her husband and son also remain at the Bear County Jail. Reporting outside the Bear County Justice Center, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Thanks for watching KSAT. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with San Antonio's latest news and weather.